All right, wide receiver is really kind of a position of need here at Michigan State now, and we bring in the wide receivers coach, Terrence Samuel. You lose him a Garrett Kings Jr., and you lose an Aaron Berberich. So what do these four that you signed here today have to prove to you going into spring and fall camp? Uh, the biggest thing is just, you know, their, their understanding and knowledge of the offense. Um, when you know what you're doing, you play fast. And that's what we've got to try to expose these guys to as much of the offense as they can so they play with a feel of, of comfort, uh, aggressiveness, um, and then they let their natural skill set show. So the biggest thing is just trying to get those guys com comfortable. How do you describe this class? Um, I, I'm excited. That's what I, I mean every day. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm pinching myself because I got these guys to work with. And, and it's, it's great when you have guys that have the athletic ability. Um, but I tell you what, the probably most important thing about these guys, they're all hungry. They're all eager to learn. I mean, they, I mean every time I turn around, I'm getting a text about how, how do I run this route? How do I run that route? So uh, when you have that type of curiosity, um, it shows up on the field pretty soon. So I'm really expecting a lot out of these guys. I think the story maybe that Spartan fans are, are maybe most interested in is, is Donnie Corley and the mm -hmm. fact that he chose you guys over mm -hmm. Ohio State and Michigan. What made the difference in your opinion in his decision? Well, I, I, I would hope to say that, you know, with the type of staff that we have here with, with Coach D'Antonio, um, you know, I mean, we are real. I mean, it's, it's not fake. It's just how we are. And, and I think he uh, enjoyed being around that type of uh, environment. Um, he knows that we're going to be hard on him, but he knows that we're going to try to make sure that he gets uh, the most of his opportunities here on the football field and the resources here at the university. So um, I think that some, some, sums up about kind of the things that was important to Donnie. What stands out about his play? <laughs> Like I said, he's as smooth as you can be. Um, I'm, I, he can go get the ball. He's got speed. Um, you know, from early morning running, I mean, I, a lot more conditioning than what I thought, too. I mean, he ran like, like a darn deer out there. So um, I'm really excited about seeing him um, get out there and play during the spring. Cam Chambers, when he committed, he, when he verbally committed back in August of 2014, really kind of rallied um, this whole recruiting class, you could say. He was one of the ringleaders. So what can we expect from him as well? Aggressive. I mean, the guy is aggressive. I mean, he's one of the main guys that spearheads all the, um, you know, the, the throwing and um, extra throwing or, or just out, you know, studying film. I mean, the guy lives in the darn film room. So, and, and I haven't seen that out of a freshman. This is the first time I've been exposed to a guy that, that's hungry to, to get himself on the field and to know the offense and the subtle nuances of it. So, um, like I said, I mean, you expect a lot of a guy that wants to be good and wants to be great. So it's going to be fun to see him grow up as well. All right. Well, thanks. We appreciate the time. Michigan State getting four new receivers in this class. They're going to try and make some more big pass plays here coming up in the fall. Be exciting for Spartan fans.